If we could start with team news. Uh, yeah, we've got um, Johnny will be fit for selection um, and Yak as well. Obviously, we thought Yak was uh, appendicitis. Luckily, it wasn't for us, so um, you know everything's good. So we've got, we got a decision, a couple of decisions to make Saturday. Uh, how much of a boost is that to have Johnny back? Well, it's been massive. Back? And, you know, obviously Yak as well. Yak has been outstanding this year for us. So to have them back on board, um, yeah, it's, it's really, really good. Uh, Chris Brunt has signed a new deal. Why did he deserve that? <laughs> well, Brunt has been, since he's come back from his injury, he's been absolutely outstanding. You know, he's a fit lad. Um, He's got back in the team and really, really played well. So, you know, it's it's all good news, really. Morrison tomorrow could make his 300th appearance as well. Um, we've sold out, taking 3,000 supporters there. So, uh, yeah, things are looking up. You mentioned that James Morrison could make his 300th appearance. Uh, he's in line for a testimonial this summer. Brunt now also, they might have a joint one. Um, it's unusual to have one player having a testimony these days, let alone two. Yeah, the club has, I think the club has, um, has had good service when you when you look at, you know, it, it, even if you bring the other players into it, you know, Jonas Olsen has been here a long time as well, Ben, you know, that, Bo, people like that have been um, have been real stalwarts for, for the football club and um, two lads that you've just mentioned now, obviously being 10 years here, you know, it's a great achievement and it's fantastic for the football club. It's great for them as well. Is that important, stability? Do you think? Um, well, stability, there's, you need stability from players who you know, are good enough to, you know, to maintain that stability and maintain uh, you know, the improvement that you're hoping to, to make as a football club. And James Morrison, as we, as we mentioned, in line for his 300th appearance, and he's been in, in great form, hasn't he? He scored the goal last weekend. Well, you know, again, similar to, to Chris, he had an injury and he struggled a little bit with the injury. Um, Fitness-wise, now he's over that, and his form has been, you know, very, very good. You know, with with him and Chadley and the team, we've got people who can open the door and can see a pass, and when they're in there, they can actually finish chances as well, which is, you know, it's been a great help for us. That one 0 win over Stoke. Uh, what did you think to the performance? Yeah, I thought we we deserved the win. I thought first half, the disappointing thing was that we never came in having scored maybe three or four goals. We had three or four great opportunities to score. Um, uh, and we defended very well. We knew, you know, if, if they were playing Crouchy, they were going to play long up to Crouchy. And it wasn't uh, the first ball we were concerned about. It was the balls that were coming off him. Um, and we worked pretty hard at that for two days. And, and to get a clean sheet, again, you know, you know, the forwards and the forward play will take all the credit and everybody will see that. But defensively, we look very sound as well. Next up, West Ham. What, how, what are you expecting from them? A different kind of game? or? Well, it'll be a tough game. I think they've got their, their mojo back a little bit now. I think the uh, you know the the problems that they had early season is, is, seems to have been washed away a little bit. And I know um, they didn't uh, perform very well against Man City, but Man City can do that to anybody. On their on their day, Man City can can pulverise most teams in this league. Um, apart from that, you know they have West Ham have shown signs of regaining the form they showed last year. So we know it'll be a tough game. My first uh, visit to uh, the Olympic Stadium. I'm looking forward to it. Um, and I'm sure the players are as well. And, and we know it'll be a tough game. They're in, you know, they've had a great result. We've had a couple of good results as well along the way. So it should be a good game. Besides that, that defeat against Man City, they had uh, three wins out of, uh, of the last four. Uh, it seems to suggest they're not missing Payet at all. Well, they've, they've, they've you know, come through that stage and they've come through it with flying colours. And like I say, they, uh, they've got some good players, West Ham. Um, and they're, uh, you know, they've got a good manager. Slavin's a good manager and he knows what he's doing. So they're in good hands. Uh, they've had a few injury concerns this week. Andy Carroll hasn't been training this week. Is that good news from your perspective? To I think Andy Carroll will play. You, you don't think they'll be no, I don't. There? I don't. No, I think he'll play. Uh, Gareth Southgate is is supposed to be watching the game. Do you think Andy Carroll deserves a call up to his squad? I won't be picking Gareth's side. I'll let Gareth pick his side. I've got enough problems of my own here picking my side Saturday with all the players fit. What do you make to his recent form though? No, I, I, he's a good player, Andy Carroll, for all the, the criticism and stuff that surrounds him. You know, when he's fit, if he could, if, you know, if he plays the games, the Premier League, you know. 38 games, you would expect him to get between 15 and 20 goals. And uh, those players are priceless. Um, so Andy's only problem over the years has been 
the fact that he has picked up injuries. Um, but if you keep him fit, then he is a good player. And he's not just, you know, people think he's one-dimensional. He's actually got great feet as well and scores some wonderful goals technically. Um, you know, he's excellent, not just with his head. Should Gareth Southgate be keeping his eye on any of your players? Craig Dawson, perhaps? Again, that will be up to Gareth. Gareth can do what he wants to do. I'm not concerned about doing Gareth's job. Uh, now, if you do manage to beat West Ham, um, it opens up the gap between yourselves and, and then just below you. Um, you know, how, it, how positive for you is to, to see is that, that you, you could create that that big gap between the eighth and ninth? No, I think it's, uh, the important thing is just to go there and, and make sure we put a performance in. I think every game we play and every team that we play against, we've got the utmost respect and we've done very well so far. The important thing is to keep it going. There's 14 games to go. It's a long, you know, long stretch yet, and we've got to keep our feet on the ground and recognise and understand why we've been successful, and make sure we keep doing those those basics well. And um, you know, if we get the result, they're brilliant. If we don't, then as long as the players work hard and put a performance in, then that's all I ask for them, and that's all our supporters ask. And like I say, we're taking 3,000, we sold out 3,000 supporters there Saturday. It's uh, it's good times for the football club. After the game, you go into a two-week break, no game for a couple of weeks. Is it important to go into that on the back of a, a positive result, if you can? I've been in it a long time. Sometimes you go in on a positive result, on a negative result. It, you have to you know, just ride with it and, and make sure that when Bournemouth comes wrong, we're, we're prepared as well as we can for that Bournemouth game. At the moment, it's all about West Ham. As soon as that game's finished, we'll concentrate then on the next game, which is Bournemouth. For those teams not involved in the FA Cup, some will, will take advantage and, and maybe go away for a few days with the team. Are you planning to do that with West Brom? No, I've, uh, we'll give the players a few days off and um, we've encouraged them to go away with their families if they want to go away. Do you think that's in, important to kind of take advantage and, and have that rest? Well, we've got the opportunity to have a few days break and the players deserve a few days break. Um, but like I say, we won't be doing it collectively. You know, They can take their families away, they can take uh, the children away and spend more time with their families.